Hello IAGSM family and friends who may be watching this video. Thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight is my favorite night of the week, Wednesday night. And from the background behind me, you can kind of see where we're shooting from tonight. I'm excited. You might not, uh, you may have forgotten about what this place looks like, but this is uh, the Ed Building where uh, we meet for services. Uh, miss seeing you in here, but we'll be back in here shortly. So tonight's uh, tonight's lesson for you guys uh, is important, um, and I got a title for it. Uh, this evening is Psalms 118 day. A Psalms having a Psalms 118 day. So uh, Psalms 118 24 says this This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. So have you ever had one of those days uh, where everything went wrong? Uh, somebody made you mad? Uh, things didn't go as planned? Uh, you know, we all have those days, and here are a few pictures of some people having those kind of days. All right, so hope you uh, enjoyed those pictures. Uh, um, it seems like we've been having not just a bad day, but a, a, a couple bad months uh, with this virus stuff. And I don't mean to keep harking on the virus stuff, but it is the reality that we live in right now, and uh, we do want to keep talking about it. And um, and I, I just want you, I want to say this first of all that not not all everything isn't all bad, okay? Uh, and it never really is, okay? I know we're in a bad situation uh, where we can't spend time with each other and, we, and, and we're, we're restricted with things we can do and and uh, go. we can't go on vacation, we can't do some things that we would like to be doing during this time, but you know, it's never, never things are never really as bad as they seem, okay? And, um, and uh, the verse I just read to you, uh, uh, we read it a lot on Sundays. Um, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. And that's a great verse. Uh, but the truth is, is this verse is for every day, okay? Because every day could be a good day. Every day could be a bad day, okay? Uh, whether it's good or bad, that, th this scripture is, is true for whatever situation the day, uh, it, it, whatever's happening that day. So the good thing every day that we, that we wake up and we breathe air is a gift from God. Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to remember, because uh, that's very important. You need to you need to look at your life and look at every day that way that that way as is that it is it is a it is a special gift from God that we do get to wake up and enjoy this life that He's given us. Okay, I know that's kind of broad and kind of simple, but uh, um, I try to wake up every morning uh, and, and you know tired, sleepy, and but I thank God that I woke up. Okay, and uh. Um, cause there's some people around the world that, that wake up in bad situations. There's people around the world that's waking up sick and, and, uh, and, and ICUs and, and there's people around the world that's, that, uh, they're in a lot more difficult circumstances that maybe me and you are in. And, uh, we need to understand and have a perspective that, that, uh, whatever situation it is, uh, we, we can still, we can still smile in the middle of it. Okay. So David can really say this. Um, he had really good days and really bad days at times, okay, just like me and you, okay? So um, I want you to listen to these verses uh, 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 that, uh, that that I'm about to read. And these verses, uh, David wrote them before he uh, before he he uh, he wrote the one that I, that I, that I read to you earlier, uh, Psalms 118.24. Uh, 18, Psalms 118.5 and 6 says, he says this, In my anguish I cry out to the Lord, Okay, in my anguish I cried to the Lord, and then he says he answered me by setting me free. The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? So on that day when he was in anguish, the Lord made that day. Okay? Psalms 118:10, all the nations surround me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them off. Okay, he felt like in this situation that pit that's uh that we'll go into more detail in just a second. Uh but he felt like the walls were caving in on that, that, that his life, that people were coming to kill him, and they literally were at that time. And uh, uh, but he said, you know, that day God made that day also in his life. Okay, um, Psalms one eighteen eleven, he says this: this they surrounded me on every side, 
But in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Again, he, uh, bad things are happening to him at this moment. The Lord made that day also. Psalms 118, 12. They swarmed, me, they swarmed around me like bees, but they died out as quickly as burning thorns. In the, in the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Okay, again, they swarmed around me like bees. Man, he feels like the walls of life, uh, everything bad is coming down on top of him. Okay, but in every situation, uh, the Lord made that day that he was in when he was going through those difficult circumstances. He don't just make the great days. And we got to thank God for every, every day. Okay, in this situation, in David's life, uh, man, he, it may feel like what some of you are feeling right now, what I feel at times is like, man, I just don't understand this time we're living in, but I understand and I trust God in the middle of it. It's a difficult time being in this pandemic and, and you don't, we don't have answers. We don't have deadlines. We don't, we, uh, we can't make plans. We, you know, our life has been kind of transformed, but man, God is still right in the middle of it. He's made this day. Okay. Right in the middle of this pandemic, okay? He's made this last month, every day of it, okay? Tomorrow, he's going to create that day for us also, okay? And we got to rejoice and be glad in it no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on. One more, Psalms 118, 13. He says, I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. God made that day also. Okay, David had the most important person in the world, Saul, uh, the king of Israel, trying and doing everything he could to try to kill David. Okay, um, that's the circumstance he was in. Um, in. In this horrible circumstance, David continued and even, even more learned to trust God in the middle of it. Okay, even in this hard time in his life, God was preparing David for something bigger. Okay, because soon after this, David will become king. Okay, and, and he would be a great king. And, um, and I, wanted, I want you to understand, no matter what you go through uh, in life and no matter what you face, that uh, you got to keep trusting uh, and God to pull you out of it or to help you walk through it. Okay, whatever the situation is. Um, and, and, in, and because of that, your faith will grow just like Davis did. Okay? And I want to read Psalms 119, 1 through 8, the first part of 119, which happens obviously right after 118, if my Alabama uh, math is correct. Okay? So he says this, You're blessed when you stay on course, walking steadily on the road revealed by God, you're blessed when you follow his directions, doing your best to find him. That's right. Don't go off on your own. You walk straight along the road he set. You, God, prescribed the right way to live. Now you expect us to live by it. Oh, that my steps might be steady, keeping to the course you set. Then I'd never have any regrets in comparing my life with your counsel, God. I thank you for speaking straight from your heart. I learned the pattern of your righteous ways. I'm going to do what you tell me. Don't ever walk off or leave me. Um, that's what trust looks like. Okay? Um, God will never walk off and leave you. No matter, you may feel like, you know, you may be in a situation where you feel like your life is horrible and you don't ever see any lights or ever, any victories in your life. But that's, I can just tell you, uh, I want you to have hope and I want you to look to God. I want you to trust Him with your thoughts and with your actions. I want you to trust Him with your worries and with your doubts. Okay? And you got to cast those things. You got to give those things to Him and let Him change uh, your thinking and change uh, your future. Okay? All right? Because you keep, you keep walking in doubt and you keep walking in worry and you keep walking in fear. And, uh, and listen, you keep walking. And, and, and darkness where, you know, you may feel like, you know, like, like David did, like, like the world's coming down on me and surrounding me. Um, it, you can stay there, but if you stay there, you're going to die. And listen, with God's help, you can live and you can have abundant life in the middle of it. One more scripture, Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8 says, But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Okay, that tree, okay, its roots are strong because it's founded on the Word of God. Okay, throughout your life, not just during this pandemic, throughout our lives. Uh, storms are going to come. Heat's going to come from many directions. I mean, stuff's going to come our way. But if our, our roots and our foundations in Jesus Christ, 
We're going to be able to stand and we're going to be able to thrive in the middle of it. We're going to be able to be an example, okay, to people who may uh, not know about this, uh, about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that's important because there's people in this pandemic that don't know who Jesus is. And they're, they're, they're seeing how the church is reacting. They're seeing how me and you react and how we respond. And and uh, and and they're going to be reaching out. And uh, we, we got to be ready, okay? And that's, that's one of the main reasons that that uh, we, we've got to trust in God because God is all about people, okay? Jesus is all about people. And uh, and I want to encourage you uh, tonight, this evening, always put your trust in God because okay? you're going to have Psalms 18 moments like David did, but God can get you through them, okay? And God can help you through them, and, and you can help other people through them. Uh, and that's how, that's how the kingdom of God works. And uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for tuning in this video. Um, before we uh, leave together tonight, I want to pray over you, and I want to pray with you. And uh, and uh, if you would, uh, if you have any problems, if you have any circumstances that you want us to pray specifically for, just please text me, 850-509-1527, uh, or you can email me, or, or however, just get in contact with me. We want to we want to help you in every way we can, okay? Father, I love you, and I thank you for my my family at IAGSM. I thank you for my friends, Lord, maybe watching this video, God, that don't, not even a part of uh, our group here in this church. God, I thank you for them. God, I thank you, Father, for how good you are to us. God, I know we're in the middle of a, a difficult time. Lord, but in, 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 the, in the concept, in the perspective of things, God, that's going on around the world and other, other areas of the world, God, we've got it, still got it pretty good. Father, and help us always keep things in perspective. God, help us always, Lord, understand, God, that it's not all near as bad as we, as we always, the devil, as the enemy makes it out to be, God. Lord, we trust you, God, with everything in our life. We trust you, with, Lord, with our decisions. And, and, Lord, we trust you with our circumstances, God. We trust you, God, in leading us and guiding us a little through these uh, difficult times, God. And in, in difficult times, we're going to face later on in life, God. But, God, thank you for the good times, God. We praise you for the good times. We praise you for the bad times, God. This is the day that you've made every day. Lord, we're going to rejoice and be glad in it no matter how it looks. God, help us always remember that, Father. And Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In your name I pray. Amen. What's up, guys? We hope you enjoyed the video. Just to let you know, we have another Zoom call tonight at 7.15. So once you're done watching this, just go ahead and uh, log into that so we can see you and check in on you guys because we like to do that. Next Sunday, we have another Roots video going to be coming out uh, with Mr. Greg and Miss Danielle because they're doing a great job of doing that. And guys, we just want to encourage you all to participate in these videos. There's different challenges, different um, things that you can do to maybe win something when we all get back together. But not everybody's doing that. Sometimes we only have two or three people. I mean, I kind of know that y'all don't have that much going on right now. So um, if you're bored, why, don't you, why not do something? You know, Don't complain about being bored and then not get involved with what we have going on. So we just want to encourage you guys to be involved with us because we want to be involved with you. Love you guys and we'll see you soon. <laughs>